Hey guys, it's Jason with Photified, and I'm here with Tim, and today we are going to talk about this. Yes. This is a Cowboy Studio, um, basically knockoff of a Glidecam HD 3000 or so. What's the model number, do you know? I do not know. I bought it with a whole vest. It cost me, I think, five or six hundred dollars. I'll put it in the description below. Yeah. I really, really like the stabilizer um, versus the old one I used to have. One, it has the adjustable hand grip up and down, so you could loosen this and move this up and down, which really helps get your drop time very, very quickly. Also, it has a built-in rail system on the bottom here. I just simply have a lens mount or a lens brace here to help so it doesn't uh, wear out my little uh, bracket up there. Or and, the poor Sony. <laughs> yeah, or the poor Sony camera, <laughs> which might die. Um, it's kind of hard to see. But I have on the bottom here, this I learned from another YouTube video, an NPF Sony battery... Uh, little hack thing. So I'm able to have some of my counterweight down here and use one of these bad boys. Yeah, and it's uh, just a, a, what is it? MP F970. Yeah, it's, I, it's awesome. I've shot, I've done video for a whole wedding on one of these before. The trick with these is though, is if you leave them alone for a few weeks and then put them on, it'll look like it's charged, but then it actually won't be. Because they, they, so they slowly drain over they time. They slowly drain pretty bad. So yeah. if you're doing a big shoot, stick it on beforehand. Most of my shoots, I just did a music video um, where this was actually my only setup. I'll give Jason a link here for the one I just did here. And I used half of one of these batteries and I was on the on set on the site for four hours. Um, so also it has the single adjustments. So simply you loosen this one knob here and then you have uh, two separate knobs for side to side and front to back adjustments. And it goes really, really smooth. And now my balance is all thrown off, but that's okay. Um, How long does it take you to initially balance this once you get it all set up? Once I get it all set up, unless I change something like the lens or the microphone, about five minutes. Maybe, maybe five minutes. It has nice little marks with uh, actual numbers. You can't really see there. Okay. But it has marks with numbers so you kind of know. All right, for a the, gist for, for what the, your lens set up and if yeah. you write it down on a piece of paper or maybe note it, yeah. it makes it a lot easier. I'm not that organized though. So, but... Hey. That's your that's your thing, man. But it is, yes. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I really, really would highly suggest this little guy. Um, it's great. It's not, you know, no Devin Graham fanciness, but it's a whole lot less expensive and gets the job done. I've been using it for a few months now. And you have the suit, though. I have the whole suit. Yeah. I rarely wear the whole suit. Um, but this thing is heavy. I mean, it, yeah. there's oh, some weight. And oh, if you had a bigger camera, it'd even be heavier. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the whole, po the whole point is I put as much weight down here as possible so that I basically can have the whole system as light as possible. Um, I will wear the whole suit if I'm doing like a, uh, a corporate event or something. I did it on the one wedding, that was kind of a bad idea. I wore the, I wore the whole suit in this thing to a wedding. Oh yeah, Samantha, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Um, I should have used a monopod because that was basically all the shots I was going for were just monopod type shots anyways. Yeah, and Tim was, we shot, basically we were shooting a wedding together. I was doing stills, he was doing video. and Yeah, he was wearing that thing all day. And it was bad. Yeah, it it came. The wedding video came out right. We'll add a snippet here, so you sure. guys can kind of see that. The 360 shot. Yeah, it's only shot I like. <laughs> and for that 360 shot, I did not use the vest. I just, yeah, just had this. Yeah. So if I'm picking up, putting this thing down a lot, I will um, simply just run and gun it by itself. Uh, and actually, on the music video I just shot, I only used this setup. This my Rode video mic, which we're using right now, a Rode video mic Pro. And one LED for a few shots, and I shot the whole music video with one lens, one setup. Um, it was pretty awesome. Uh, this is the 24 millimeter f1.4 t1.5 Rokinon lens. Sam Yang Rokinon. Same yeah, thing. Yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever, you, whatever it's branded as. We of course like the Rokinon because it has the red ring instead of the yellowness that the Sam Yang has. But that's just because we used to be Canon fanboys. Not anymore. Um, so I use this lens, and I use a feature in the A6300. Wait, but you also use what's we've talked we've talked about this before, but say it. What Wait, is one it? One more again? time. Yeah. I also use a lens Turbo Two. However you say that. Zagati. Sure. Zagati. Zagati lens Turbo um, Two, uh, to basically give me the look of the full frame on my APS-C size body right here. Uh, I really like it. Uh, one thing that has happened before with this. Is it I don't know how to say that. Sorry. One thing that has happened before, I'm gonna hold this. Good job. Is uh, it is the screws because these lenses are so stupid heavy. 
the screws have gotten loose, actually on the back side. The screws got loose and the whole thing was starting to come apart right here. But that was after like a year plus of use. Um, so then I just tightened them up and it's been fine. Uh, basically just keep an eye out for that if you're gonna have really heavy lenses off the front of your camera to uh, not screw that up. And also it will go on both ways without clicking. Oh really? One way does click, one way doesn't click. So you gotta be yeah. careful. Just something to keep in mind. Um, but I use, with this little guy, how I did that shoot was I also used something called Clear Image Zoom, which is like my favorite feature of the, of one of my favorite features of the A6300 here. So it gave me essentially this 24-1.4 and then Clear Image Zoomed in to a 48 uh, F2 or F2.3, somewhere right in there. Um, so on that music video, if you choose to watch the whole thing, any of the head shots or three or really tight shots, those are clear image zoom. Any of the wide shots is not clear image zoom. I haven't noticed any loss in quality shooting in 4K, clear image zoom or not. No, no, it, it's it, it's upraising in 4K, right? Is that kind of what it's happening? I'm not exactly sure what's happening. Is it pixel bending or doing something? But I it, mean, it, it, it is doing something to that effect. But this Sony's crazy technology of they, from what I understand of clear image zoom, this is not a clear image zoom review, that's for sure, uh, is they are choosing areas where to basically keep detail and where to lose detail via the zoom, if that makes any sense. Okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so this setup is awesome. Any of my run and gun uh, music videos, pretty much, this is pretty much it. Sometimes I'll bust out the 85 if I really, if I really need to, but if especially if part of the environment is important, like we were in the city, we were in the woods last time, we were at the beach, this lens setup is really awesome. It's a nice medium lens. And with this battery, one battery lasts me a long time. Unless you don't charge it and then it dies super fast. And you're using an, an adapter that plugs yeah. in. Yeah, yes, the adapter I have here. And and was that like just a knockoff adapter that you found? Just yeah, that, that I, watched, I watched someone else's YouTube video actually where they talked about this particular setup. Yeah, so that's gen. a dummy battery. Yeah. Dummy battery and then boom, boom. This is, I love it. I think yeah. it's, Actually, in, in in a way, you could actually do something like this for weddings if you yeah. didn't mind having that battery yeah. attached to you. Well, and so what I've done before on other weddings where I didn't use a steady cam so much, I put this battery on the leg of my tripod. So I attached it to the leg of the tripod because I was going to be on the tripod and have it as a monopod. I just used, this comes off right here, I used this strap right here and strapped it to my actual tripod and it worked great. So mono, yeah, you could do it to a it also, monopod. It also has a quarter a 20. Quarter 20. Yeah, so you could actually get a clamp. Yeah. Like I have hooked up to the Atomos Ninja here. And yeah. yeah. It is awesome and that's pretty much all I got for this little guy. Yeah. I like, I like it a lot. So so basically with with the, the clear image zoom, with the 24 you get well, how many lenses pretty much? I could essentially, in, a, in, a, in a sense, virtual In a of, sense, virtually three are the normal stops. It would be 24, 35, and 48, or 50 millimeter. So pretty much like all that you would really need. As a stand, as a, more of a standard. I have a standard to wide. I don't, have, I don't have any super wides, like 12 millimeter. I don't have any 75 portrait. But, you know, for, for especially for music videos, you want to be a little more gritty, a little more whatever with them. Like, I've, like for photo shoots, usually I use more than 85 and 24. But but for last music video, it worked out great. And with the clear image zoom with the 85, you can then it just, it's pretty much, so pretty much two lenses give you oh, yeah. six lenses. Oh, even more than that. Or more than that. Because I also um, have empty adapters. Yeah. Which then turn this 24 into basically a 36. Yeah. Which then you do clear image zoom on top of that and then get up to a 72. And that's why I'm kind of sad. I will say this because I was talking to my wife about it. Uh, an A6500. I wish I would have bought the Canon mounts like he did, so I could actually put something through it. What? The thing is, is I just didn't want to <laughs> basically carry around mounts. Was my my thing. But uh, hindsight's 2020. But because you have your Rokinons are all Sony mounts. Yeah, they're all Sony mounts. So I'm gonna get uh, the way I'm pretty much gonna go about it is two Sony A7Ss because I found out like. I this year I put a hundred, a hundred thousand actuations on my cameras mm -hmm. in a year and a half actually that's what it was, so I got a year basically to buy a couple more cameras before things start going crazy. So, but anyway, I think that's all for this little guy. Yeah, cool. Well, anyways, guys, uh, we'll uh, we'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye.